Judd Trump and Dave Gilbert next up here in Group 5 of Championship League on Table 2. Both winners already today. Trump beat Martin Gould 3-1. Gilbert beat Joe Perry 3-1. As it stands right now, there are six players of the seven-man group all on a point. So it's all very already a very tight group. And uh, of course, whoever wins this one is going to go to two points. Judd Trump looking to bounce back from the disappointment of that semi-final defeat at the Masters on Saturday to Karen Wilson, having led 5-2. Was beaten 6-5. Gilbert a late call up because of various withdrawals. Two players who like to attack here. Judd Trump, a bit of a specialist in the Championship League, he's won it three times. That's a trademark. Uh, Judd Trump, long red, nicely on the black. World number three, so uh, comfortably the highest-ranked player in this fifth group. Played really well in group four in the round-robin stage, but in the semi-finals, he only scored two points, losing 3-0 to Ali Carter, the eventual group winner. But he's here for another tilt at getting in the winner's group. In what is a very busy period, he's of course he just had the Masters. China Open qualifying to come at the weekend, then next week off to Berlin for the German Masters. Well, I see no time in getting them open. May have been a bit unlucky here. They've split nicely, but what's he on? Looks like nothing. It's hard to take because he plays such a confident shot. Well, is he playing a plant here? Looks like it. Nicely done. It's recovered the situation really well. And now, what a chance to win this opening frame.
we did expect Trump to win the frame at this visit when he was here for Group 4 a couple of weeks ago. He made his 500th career century. Only the sixth player to do that. Mark Selby actually done it in uh, the previous week. Group 2. But Trump just 28, so the youngest player to do it. Great talent, great to watch. Maybe not if you're sat where Dave Gilbert is, though. So this is already frame ball coming up. Started with a great long red, and when he got the reds open and completed that plant to keep the break going, you just fancied him to win the frame. Well, it's only one snooker needed, having said that. May play the double here. Try and keep the break going that way. Yeah, nicely done. So it's definitely his frame. The only good thing about Trump playing like this from the opponent's point of view is that they, the frames don't last long, at least. Five two upon Karen Wilson Masters semis on Saturday afternoon. Looked uh, the only winner at that point, but Wilson battled back strongly. Beat him 82 the break from Judd Trump to very swiftly account for the opening frame here against Dave Gilbert. Just one chance he needed. Remember both players have already won a match uh, so far today in this group. Trump plays Joe Perry and Mark Williams this evening. Dave Gilbert has one more match, that's against Ben Wollaston. Brendan Moore, the referee, setting them up. Mark Williams has won the first frame next door, by the way, on table one against Martin Gould. Williams have made two centuries, including a 1-4-4 against Ricky Walden. So the Welshman looking good already in this group. bit thin, hence the cue ball coming back in and out of ball. Gilbert here had that win earlier on, 3-1 over Joe Perry in his first match. Mm. 
Yeah, good uh, clean pot there. He's the world number 24 from n nearby Tamworth. 36 years of age. He's been in a ranking final, albeit a couple of seasons back, the International Championship. overran there which puts pressure on this pink now and that white going close to the side cushion no problem though but that was a problem he missed it Worse still, he's left it on to the left corner. Such a delicate shot he's played there, and he's played it well. Well, it's starting to look ominous again, you've got to say. 20. Trump in this position, he, a couple of shots ago, got the reds nicely open. And just fancy him from here, he's already made an 82 break in the first frame. The shirt, by the way, is uh, Christian Dior, he wore it for his first match at the Masters.
so another big break surely beckons for Trump just looks so comfortable in this sort of position sure about that one I don't think but it's gone in the blue puts him 51 in front so just one more red doesn't need to worry about the one on the cushion one more red should be 2-0 Trump Gilbert looking a bit fed up there sat in his seat Brings the safe red into play, 82. looking to make the century. He made 82 first frame, he's on 82 here. Can he uh, continue to three figures? Looks like it. Just seems to fly in this tournament, Trump. He's won it three times, remember. And this for a century break in the second frame. Yeah, brilliant stuff again from Judd Trump to put himself on the cusp of victory. 82 first frame and a century in the second. just clip this in don't think so I think he's taking it actually to the corner oh what a pot <laughs> what a talent just brilliant absolutely brilliant 120 a clearance from Judd Trump to take a 2-0 lead here over Dave Gilbert obviously the frame was well over but that pink just an illustration of his great talent for the sport so 2-0 Trump and one more frame and he'll have taken his second point from two in this first day of Group 5. Mark Williams has played well also. He's had uh, a couple of centuries and you can see he's 1-0 up on Martin Gould in this match. Trailing by 39 in frame two. Gould uh, played two, won one, lost one. Beat Ricky Walden, lost to Trump. Every result so far has been 3-1 in the six completed matches. So Williams 1-0 up there. Judd Trump 2-0 up here. 
Breaks of 82 and 120. Pretty emphatic stuff so far from him. Trump itching to get on with frame three and try and complete a whitewash. Gilbert's had hardly any table time so far. <laughs> Played a good shot there, though. It's got to be safe against Trump. It really has. To stop him getting in with a long pot. Well, it's Gilbert this time. He knocks a long red in. Now then, what can he do in response to the barrage of breaks he's seen from Judd Trump? This loose red uh, at the bottom of the cluster pots to the right corner. Well, this little thin cut to the middle. Yeah, it's not really what you need when you're already under pressure in a match because your opponent's played two great frames. And Gilbert, at, I think at this stage, could have done with something a bit easier than that. And we're still Trump lining up another long red. And knocking it in. So screwing the white off the bulk cushion to get near to the reds. Five. Looks so confident. And in for the kill maybe here in frame three. Gilbert sort of half smiling, half grimacing in his seat. Well... 
20. Again, the bottom, the uh, red bottom left of the cluster will part. This cube will just do a bit of travelling. Well, he's now looking at the blue, so may choose to go into them. As I say, that red still pots, so doesn't have to. That's the one he's played on. Well, it looks like red to middle. Not quite on the one to the corner. But this in turn just opens a couple more up. Well, didn't necessarily want to knock the black on the cushion, but uh, it's going to come down to a couple of shots of time getting into these reds, because he can do this without the black. He's already 30 in front. Well, in fact, he's taking the opportunity now, banking on being on the colour, which he is. He's on the pink to the far corner. He's got the reds open. This is a very impressive snooker from Judd Trump. Break goes to 54. The lead is 43. 54. This is now why it's an advantage that the black's on the cushion because it's a bit of security if something goes wrong for Trump. But it doesn't look like it's going to. Not much has in this match for Judd Trump. Playing time wouldn't be much more than half an hour. That cue ball... Maybe just took a bit of a bounce off that top cushion. And now these reds may be blocking one another. He only needs really another red and a colour. Well, he's playing a, a plant with the reds a long distance apart, and he's played it really well. That had to be made. And just underlines how well he's played. So this yellow... And uh, Gilbert needs another snooker. And it looks like 3-0, and this has been every inch a 3-0. What a great performance by Judd Trump. He's already had 82 and 120 big breaks with another one to follow here. Gilbert just utterly resigned there, arms crossed in his seat, just watching on. 
Well, Trump's missed that one, so it's only one snooker required. The break ends at 63. Gilbert will play on here. Needs high value colours, that's why the black being on the cushion is not great for him. Forty-five behind, so he can afford one more pink, but he will need a black with one of these reds. And of course the snooker, more importantly. So he's got him in a snooker. But as I say, Gilbert, even if Trump misses the red here, Gilbert is going to need the black off the red. Good hit. As long as this cue ball stops, which it has done. Well, that doesn't help Gilbert's cause, being snookered himself. Oh, doesn't really want it in. That's a fluke you don't want. Well, that's calamitous, really. At the moment, he needs three snookers. 37 the difference, 27 on. Looking to pop the green. Then it's two snookers needed. And it could be, well, it's gone in. I was going to say it could be shake hands time. The green took its time, but went in, but it eases the pressure on Trump a bit now, this. Because, as I say, it's two snookers needed now. Well, that's another snooker. This looks good. Very good indeed. Judd Trump's had breaks of 82, 120 and 63. authoritative performance from him the world number three looking as he often does is certainly in the in the group phase in the round robins 
the Championship League, pretty much unstoppable. Just seems to suit him this format. And there's more evidence as the yellow goes in. OK, snooking himself, but it's three snookers needing now by Gilbert on the green. Assuming Trump does win the match, he's going to go to two points. First player to do so. Chance to pop this green, and if he does so, then it's surely over. Well, he's got him. Trump swerving round the brown. Just flicking the green. Remember, Gilbert currently needs three snookers. It's not giving it up, but it's a tall order from here. Trump is uh, excellent at escaping, and he's only so far been in a couple. Gilbert has uh, decided he's had enough of this. 